What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. Now today, I'm going to be using this Appleton team, which, you know, a few, not a few days ago, but yesterday, I actually put up a poll asking what Pokemon I should use in Players Cup 3, since I'm like 99% sure I actually qualified for that. They still haven't sent out the emails, which is kind of annoying, but regardless, I think I qualified, so... One of the top choices was Appleton. A lot of people voted for that. I already had a team in the works for this Pokemon, but we'll get into exactly what it's supposed to do in a minute here. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And answer my comment question of the day. What is your favorite dragon type? Personally, I think Appleton has to be like my absolute favorite dragon type. I actually found out that the Appleton I used in my original Pokemon Sword playthrough uh, was actually a zero speed one, so I can use it in Player's Cup 3. I can take that Appleton that I had in my playthrough and use it on an actual tournament team since it has zero speed IV, so that's really cool. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So the team is basically, you know, most of the time you're going to be Dynamax and Calyrex Ice or Thunderous, depending on the matchup, but Appleton is actually a really, really cool Pokemon. It's not exactly the best Pokemon, but it is pretty bulky, especially when you Dynamax it because of that really high base 110 HP stat and the pretty decent 80 in both defenses. Basically, if you combo Thick Fat with this Dynamax and some defensive investment, uh, I can actually get this guy to, behind screens, be able to take a Glacial Lance from Calyrex Ice, or even at minus one, I'm able to take the Glacial Lance from Calyrex Ice, which is really, really nice. Um, when I Dynamax this guy, because he underspeeds Calyrex Ice by 20 points, you're actually able to lower that attack stat even more by going for a uh, max Wormwind, which is really nice because it just makes it so that you take even less and less damage. And if they decide to hit you with that ice move while you're Dynamaxed, it's actually going to it's going to be pretty much bouncing off of Appleton at that point. Uh, so you're going to get your weakness policy and then you'll be able to deal with them with another max move. Uh, Apple Acid is going to be our main grass type stab for this Pokemon. It's going to be what we use to hit things like uh, Groudon and Kyogre. However, with the weakness policy, we are boosting our attack stat as well. So what I am able to do is actually set up that grassy terrain while I'm Dynamaxed and even have like an air of ambiguity as to whether I'm physical or special Appleton, which usually they're special because it has a higher base special attack. But 85 attack is usable to the point where I can use Grassy Glide post Dynamax as a really strong priority move to hit things uh, that wouldn't expect it. And that's been coming in clutch when I was testing this team. Next up, we have Incineroar. It's a very standard Incineroar, just 252, 124, 132, with zero speed IVs and a sassy nature. I ran zero speed IVs just so under Trick Room, I always win the fake out war, and it's already a Trick Room team, so I didn't really see too much of an issue. On top of that, my parting shot will go last, which is really useful for pivoting. Uh, next up, we have Porygon 2, standard special defensive set, Eviolite, Download, Tri Attack, Eerie Impulse, Recover, Trick Room. Really nice having Eerie Impulse to deal with Torn Ogre and stuff. It's a really strong move and a really useful one overall. We have Life Orb, Calyrex, Ice, a pretty standard set once again. Glacial Lance, Protect, Trick Room, High Horsepower. Uh, being able to set up Trick Room with both Porygon 2 and Calyrex Ice is essential for this team to function, just because you need to be able to be flexible in the matchup. Thunderous with a Lumberry is going to be for matchups where I don't really feel comfortable leading off with Trick Room. That's going to be the Sun Room matchups where I can pretty easily lead off with Dynamax Thunderous and KO things like, um, like Venusaur if it wants to go for a Sleep Powder, since my Lumberry protects me from sleep for one turn. And that's always really cool. And we have a standard Light Clay Grim Snarl with Spirit Break, Light Screen Reflect, and Thunder Wave for some minor speed control. And if I really need to, use it to play to my end games. But yeah, ooh, looks like my watch is going off telling me I have a class even though it got canceled. Silly. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's grab some matches. Now we are on the Telemundo Univision account, which is the account that I just spam teams on. However, through spamming teams and having an absurd win-loss ratio of nearly 50-50, I've hit 1482, so it's like a mid-ladder account. This is like the account I just spam teams on and just see what sticks, you know? Just throw everything at the wall, see what works. Okay. So we're facing a Dialga team. Dialga Trick Room, most likely. Um, I think this matchup isn't terrible. Dusclops is definitely going to be a little bit annoying, uh, but I feel relatively comfortable here leading off with P2 and... I'm kind of conflicted on Grimmsnarl or Incineroar. Grimmsnarl seems really nice actually overall. Uh, P2 is really essential for stopping the weakness policy on Dialga since they're usually special attackers. And... Hmm. I definitely want to bring Calyrex Ice. That one's a lock. Do I bring Appleton to this matchup though? When it comes to Appleton versus Incineroar, I'm actually somewhat leaning towards Appleton just because it's able to hit quite a few things on this team. Max, Max Dragon though is going to be nerfed for 
hitting this Dialga if I need to, uh, since the Tapu Fini's in the field. However, I do want something that beats Tapu Fini outright, so I guess we'll go with Appleton for the memes, why not? Alright. As we see the Grimmsnarl Rotom lead, now Grimmsnarl does sometimes run Taunt, but I'm not sure if this is going to be one of those situations. I'll go ahead and I'll attempt to Trick Room here as I set up a Light Screen. I don't really mind if they Spirit Break my Grimmsnarl. Uh, my Light Screen will be up for the majority of the game, so I'm cool with that. As they Nasty Plot, I'll be able to Eerie Impulse that next turn in case they decide to be uh, a little bit greedy and try to go for a Dynamax immediately. So I'm actually going to do that right now. Um, and I don't feel comfortable switching out my Grimmsnarl just yet. I could go for a Spirit Break into their Grim Snarl, and since they're mostly special attackers, there's only like one physical attacker on the team, I'll just hit them back with another Spirit Break. As I get them down to neutral, hit them with a Spirit Break, do a significant chunk of damage. Uh, and they actually went for the Light Screen that turn, which is really nice, so I actually do kind of have a lead here. I can Eerie Impulse again and go for another Spirit Break to try to catch the Grim Snarl. As they go into the Dust Clops, smart play by them. They do have Light Clay, uh, and they, it looks like they're also going to be going for a Spirit Break, but. I have no speed investment, so I'm going to be able to go first here, which is really nice. And there's the Rotom. Um, I don't really fear Dusclops at all, to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and go for a, another Eerie Impulse on the Rotom, and I'll actually get an Appleton here to preserve the Grim Snarl for the late game. I'm assuming their last Pokemon is going to be Dialga here. So a Will-O-Wisp from the Dusclops is going to be nothing more than just a minor annoyance. An annoyance. annoyance. Uh, and I actually feel really, really nice here. I don't want a Dynamax just yet. I can... Pretty easily just kind of spam Apple Acid. Do I do that though? Hmm. I could just Apple Acid this Dust Clops to death. I'll go for that. There's the Dialga. Getting another Eerie Impulse off on that thing is actually going to be really nice. Hopefully they're not Pain Split. They're most likely Bulldoze, as they do go for the Bulldoze, but they probably just forfeited realizing that I thwarted their entire plan there by going for the Eerie Impulse. Yeah, P2 is kind of insane with how much you can shut down teams like this. Uh, just being able to like absolutely annihilate weakness policy users is really cool. So good game to my opponent. That sort of just showed off how like this team is very bulky. It, it's it's a very bulky offense team. As we see some more mid ladder madness. I like to like think about the ladders like this, right? So high ladder is like okay, you're good, you're real good. You're using like standard stuff. Some people are using some crazy stuff since it's best of one, but it's always a really solid team. Uh, mid ladder is kind of a mix of those with some madness mixed in. This is going to be like a mad team, uh, since we're seeing Lily Cole instead of Vinny Cole, which I feel like Vinny Cole is just better. Uh, and the low ladder is always just, oh god, <laughs> it's just like a nightmare. Uh, I would say low ladder showdowns easier to play than great ball tier freaking switch games. Like, it's, it's annoying. Uh, but versus this team, I'm going to say Incineroar is going to be solid lead. Just overall, it's really nice. Uh, P2 looks like it has to show up to this match. I actually feel okay bringing Appleton. I feel okay bringing Appleton. I don't want to lead off with it, though. Or maybe I can. It depends what they lead off with, though. If they lead off with Lily Cole, uh, Appleton's actually really nice because I'm able to drop a Draco Meteor on the thing that wants to put things to sleep first. Uh, but I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and go... Do I lead off Calyrex, actually? Calyrex isn't bad, either. Hmm. I think we're just going to bring the same Pokemon. I'm not going to lead off Trick Room since they're likely also Trick Rooming. Yeah. So what I can actually do here is parting shot the stack attacka and get in my P2. I don't mind the trick room going up since I actually thrive under trick room, especially if I'm able to deal with the stack attacka effectively. So parting shot onto you, and I don't want to activate like a weakness policy or anything if they're carrying it. Uh, I'd rather just get out the P2 here. Yeah. Body press could be, you know, it could be a minor annoyance, but I don't see it being too difficult. You know, I almost ran uh, Recover on this Appleton over Protect, but even though Appleton's decently bulky, I don't think you should really run Recover on it unless you're running, like, a full defensive set, like Max Steel Spike, Moves, Leech Seed, that sort of thing. Get a nice little download boost there as I parting shot out on the Stack Attacka. Um, we can get an Appleton here. They Trick Room, and they... Re <laughs> Okay, they were they were trying something. They were trying something. Um, I'm not sure what they were. I think what they were trying to do is call my fake out. But there's no reason to fake out the Oranguru. You should always just Trick Room with the Oranguru, especially if it's like Mental Herb. I do have Taunt, but I, I didn't really care about Trick Room. Uh, I suppose we should take this opportunity to get some damage off on the Stack Attacka. I don't really mind Oranguru. Or actually, nah, we'll just target down this thing. So they go into Calyrex Ice, that's fine. 
If they Trick Room, that's actually even better for me, as they end up going for a Yawn, which is whatever. Get some solid damage there. Uh, and even though I did say, like, yeah, I can easily take a Glacial Lance at minus one, uh, it's not a comfortable calc, so what I'm going to do here is get in the Incineroar and uh, the Calyrex. Get another Intimidate off on this uh, Calyrex here. As I get in the stack attack, a good play, a good play. They may have Trick Roomed. They end up going for the Glacial Lance, which is perfectly fine. What I'm going to do here is I think I might actually... I, it doesn't look like they brought Lilligant. They most likely have Torkoal in the back. Or even Indeedy if they're insane. Uh, what I'm going to do here is try to knock out this stack attack with a Max Quake. Since uh, it can't really survive it. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, I'll also Parting Shot into the stack attack. As they get in the Orangru, that's fine. Let me get in the Appleton here, since I'm assuming they didn't go for a Glacial Lance this turn. Mm. Nah, no, I'll just get in P2. It's safer. Nice little special defense boost there is they are able to set up the Trick Room. I don't really mind that. Once again, like a max Steel Spike isn't going to KO me at minus one. Because I'm Calyrex, dude. I am actually just Calyrexing. I could... Mm, oh, I could do something really nasty to them right here. I have plus one special defense on my Porygon, so I can easily live this. I may just reverse their Trick Room. I, I have two options. I can reverse their Trick Room, or I can Eerie Impulse the Torkoal and make it useless. But I think I'd rather just reverse Trick Room. So I'll Trick Room Max Guard here. Like, yeah, I am... I'm not going to enjoy taking uh, an Eruption on my Porygon if they have it. So they go for the Quake. Awesome, I block that. And I feel comfortable just going for another one of these as I switch in the Incineroar. Go for a Quake into the Torkoal. They have no safe switch-ins. In fact, they have to just kind of take the hit or protect. A nice little Intimidate there. Max Quake does very little to me. And I'm at plus one, so this is just going to KO and they're going to forfeit. Nice. Nice. Critical hit, I don't know if that mattered at plus one with Life Orb. But we do win the game there, so GG to my opponent. I want to get a good Appleton game. Like, I've been able to pack Appleton and, like, win most games with it, but not today. Ooh, okay, hold on. Zygarde's actually a great Appleton matchup, uh, because it really, really doesn't like getting intimidated. Uh, and, oh my god, this entire team's kind of Appleton food. Hopefully I can manage to use it. Uh, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to lead off in Sin. And Calyrex Ice is going to be my best friend here. Uh, I could go in Sin Calyrex Ice. Or I could go in Sin Grim Snarl. Actually, no, because I need to bring P2. I'm still going to bring Appleton to like every match. I think I'm just going to go in Sin. Um, I'm going to go in Sin P2. Appleton Calyrex. There's no reason not to lead off in Sin here. There's the Celesteela. Awesome. So. I am minimum speed in Cinera, so I'm going to get outsped by the Celesteela. I don't mind that too much. I would like to taunt it, but it's not the end of the world if I can't do that. Um, actually, I'll just go for straight damage. They're usually... Ooh, wait, hold on. What if they're Meteor Beam? I suppose my place to fake out Trick Room, then. Because I don't want to lose to Meteor Beam. Yeah, I'm going to say that might be Meteor Beam. So I'm going to do this now. Uh, let me go for a Parting Shot and an Eerie Impulse. If they're Leech Seed, it's whatever, but I've seen some Meteor Beam still, and that's always terrifying to face. Uh, and I'll get in the Appleton here. Actually, no, there's like no reason not to go Calyrex at this point. <laughs> I've neutered this Celesteela. There's the Spirit Break, doesn't do much. And there's the Leech Seed, okay. So now my play is to... I could do something kind of cheeky here. I kind of want to really get rid of the... I, I really want to get rid of this Grim Snarl, but behind Reflect, it's going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, I could kind of play footsies here and just reposition myself until I can actually start attacking, but uh, HP is really, really... Like, Calyrex itself, like, I can't afford to lose too much HP on it. So I'm actually just going to go Appleton here and Incineroar again. I'm not too concerned about Celesteela, since Leech Seed's a, a tell that it's not running Meteor Beam. Okay. And now I can actually just start clicking Apple Acid into this thing as I... I'm going to taunt the Celesteela. I don't really mind taking a Spirit Break into Appleton since it actually just kind of helps me out right now. I have a net gain, pretty much. I 
Or actually, maybe I should just... No, I'm fine with this. Yeah. Okay. Um... I'm just gonna go for another one. If they drain and kiss me, it's like, okay, sure, whatever. I'm somewhat tempted to taunt the Comfey. I'll just parting shot Celesteela here. Yeah, nice. Is there a weakness policy? Okay. Yeah, I call that. As soon as they went for that, I'm like, okay, it didn't exactly tell me it was weakness policy, but it's it's a nice way to kind of tell. Uh, and I can get in the Calyrex here. Okay. Uh, honestly, I don't want to stay in on them going for a max dragon move on the on either of these, to be honest. So what I'm going to do is assume that they would never go for a ground move into Appleton. And I'm actually just going to do a, a double switch here. I'm going to go into Incineroar for the Appleton uh, to intimidate this thing once more and get in P2 to take what might be a max dragon move into Calyrex. Like I said, I, I need to keep Calyrex around to beat this effectively. And they do go for the Dynamax, which is great. Draining Kiss. Max Steel Spike. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, and I would say here my play is to assume they go for a Max Quake onto the Incineroar slot. So I'm going to get in the Appleton here and actually just Trick Room again. A lot of this team is mostly just based around stuffing their Dynamax and then Dynamaxing back once they don't have that option. So they go for a Steel Spike, that's whatever. I get my Trick Room off so I can recover in this thing's face. And... I'm assuming their last moves are, it's it's gotta be like Leech Seed, Protect, Heavy Slam, Air Slash maybe? And Appleton can take an Air Slash pretty easily. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and recover here and get in the Incineroar again. If they go for a Leech Seed, it's whatever, because I'm just gonna switch out P2 soon. There's the Quake, and they get a crit, which is kind of annoying, but... It's whatever. Uh, let me parting shot on this guy. Thousand arrows doesn't hurt too bad into Incineroar at minus one. I'll be able to get my berry, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I am going to underspeed, so they have to protect here. Yeah. I'll recover. And if they're going for a thousand arrows, you can get an Appleton. Go for the Leech Seed, doesn't get anything from it. They go for a Coil, okay. Okay, so now uh, I feel somewhat inclined to start going in the offensive. They really don't have anything to beat Appleton. I'm just going to max it. And I'll go for the Eerie Impulse on Celesteela. <laughs> we get a crit. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, well Appleton's, Appleton's going to put in the work. There's no way they win now. God, imagine if they could actually go for a, a Leech Seed in Appleton. I would just lose. Okay. There's the boy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Max Overgrowth onto this guy. He might go for a... Yeah, I should always just go for the special version. I was going to say, he might go for a Light Screen, but I don't think I care too much. And I'll get in the Incineroar here. To deny him some Leech Seed recovery. So they go for the Reflect, that's fine. There's the Air Slash, A, and there's the Weakness Policy. Oh, I'm so excited to hit that thing with a Grassy Glide. It's just going to be funny. Uh, let me go for another Max Overgrowth into this Grim Snarl as well as a Fake Out. Okay. There's the Leech Seed. They end up missing it. Yeah, they can't really stall me out at this point. Uh, I'm going to go for the Grassy Glide just for flavor. <laughs> Literally just for flavor. I know that Apple Acid would do more, but this is a flavor move. And at this point, I can actually just taunt Celesteela. Yeah, it does like nothing because of Reflect, but imagine if there wasn't a Reflect. Just imagine that. That'd be pretty lit. As they actually do get a... They do get a KO there because of the Crit Air Slash. Uh, I can get in the Glacier now. Or not the Glacier, but the Calyrex. And Glacial Lance is objectively my best move. Uh, I should also be able to Flare Blitz into this guy. There's the Fake Tears. Uh, I don't think that's going to KO me, yeah. Get some nice damage. I'm going to get to plus one as well. At this point, uh, my play is probably just to get in P2 and Flare Blitz. 
There's the flash cannon. And yeah, they forfeit. Nice. So far, this has been going pretty well, to be honest. So far, this is going a lot better uh, than most of my really crazy teams have gone. And I think that's just because, like, when I when I build a team like this, when I like when I like truly care, uh, it I end up having like a really nice backbone for the team with a Pokemon that just kind of fills in a, a little niche. As we're facing uh, some Shadow Rider Hyper Offense, hmm. I think here I would always lead off Grimmsnarl. I think I go Grimmsnarl P2 Appleton Calyrex. No Incineroar needed. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay. Um, I am Dark type, so we can't actually stop this. I'll go for my Reflect here. And assuming he's going to taunt the P2, I'm just going to try attack this Thunderous at plus one. Okay. Goes for the taunt. I don't really care. I don't really care. Um, I definitely never want to Spirit Break that Thunderous. I'm going to go ahead and assume that... Spirit Break into Tri Attack is safe. Okay, they Dynamax. That's fine. They could Knuckle me, which wouldn't be amazing. Yeah. But I should be able to pick up a KO on this Whimsicott, I think. Spirit Break into Tri Attack, I think, will do it there. Nice. I have to be really careful, though. That thing can definitely mess me up. All right, um, light screen is pretty clearly my play. I really don't want to lose my P2 is the thing. Like the trick room's so, so essential. I could thunder wave this Calyrex, but I get a lot more out of light screen. And I'll go ahead and go, I'll go Appleton here. All right, we lose the Appleton, it's whatever. Because uh, now we can just Dynamax this bad boy. And we're not in a terrible spot. Matter of fact, um, I think I should be able to Trick Room now. And that might just seal the game if I'm able to get that off. Let me go for the Spirit Break into Calyrex and try to Trick Room. If I can't get it off, it's like, okay, whatever, I lost anyways. But <laughs> I think I might be able to do this. Yeah, because Astral Barrage doesn't affect Porygon 2. And a Max Knuckle isn't going to KO from this range. I think the one thing I really don't want to see is a Ferrothorn, to be honest. I can deal with pretty much everything else. Oh, he got the crit expanding force. Come on. Okay, that's... That's annoying. That's pretty much exactly what he needed. Okay. Uh, what's the likelihood I can win this? I suppose my only out here... I did get the Spirit Break and the Calyrex, so I can kind of ignore it for a minute, I think. Especially if I Thunder Wave. I think my main issue is going to be Thunderous. Maybe, not quite. Let me just Spirit Break Calyrex. I can't Trick Room, I have to just Dynamax. Okay. Go for a Wild Charge to KO this thing. I do get a KO. Expanding Force is resisted, so I don't know why they switched out there, to be honest. How many turns do I have left of Light Screen? I have two turns... No. I'm Light Clay, so I have a ton of turns left of Light Screen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and focus down Calyrex. Yeah, Hailstorm. Hopefully I can take two hits from the Thunderous. <laughs> the Wild Char... Okay, I might be able to do this. Astral Barrage, how much do I take? They do a lot here, but... Let's see if they can take this behind Reflect, or behind Protect. We saw how much... Oh, they could also... Dang, they could fly is the issue. Fly could really mess me up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, but if they fly, they win. Yeah, I think they win. Um, I can go for a Protect here. Actually, which is stronger, Fly or Wild Charge? I think they're the same, right? But Fly is a chance to miss. Fly is 90, Wild Charge is 90. My best play I could make here is just to attack. Yeah, all right, GG. That was unfortunate. Uh, I think I just straight up won if they didn't get that crit there. Because there was no way P2 dropped. 
As we face a Kurum team, okay. Hmm. This team, honestly, I actually really like Appleton here. <laughs> you might be thinking, Marcus, what are you talking about? They got an Incineroar. They got <laughs> Kurum. They have this thing. They, they have so many switch-ins, but I, I kind of just believe, you know? I kind of just believe. Um, they don't like Trick Room at all. I'm going to lead off P2 once more. I think P2 Grimmsnarl might be one of my better plays, but I can also go P2 Incineroar, actually. Calyrex in the back for sure. Calyrex does insane work to this team. Uh, and maybe I just go Grimmsnarl here, actually. Nah, we'll go Appleton. <laughs> we'll go Appleton. Uh, as it looks like they don't exactly have a way of stopping my Trick Room on lead. So I'll Trick Room immediately. And I'll just fake out this Reggie Likey since there's no way Kyurem one-shots my Porygon. And then I can just start clicking Eerie Impulse into it. Even if they Dynamax here. In fact, I would prefer them to Dynamax right now. As they do not. Earth Power? Yeah, okay. They do some decent damage there. They don't have too many physical attackers, I'm afraid of though. So I'm going to go for the Eerie Impulse and the Parting Shot. And regardless of which one of these I get, I'm cool. Because they're going to fake out. I'm cool regardless of which one I get. And <laughs> I could actually just Dynamax my my boy. My Appleton. You know, if that worked out, but it did not. There's the Volcarona. Um, I could taunt the Volk and Eerie Impulse. I think that's my play. Because if I taunt Volk here, I'm not in a bad spot. They Dynamax, music to my ears, man. Music to my ears for you to Dynamax there. Can you KO my Incent? Cool, cool. Let me get in the Appleton here. And now, I Eerie Impulse you and go for this Max Wormwind. And I'm going to be able to eat whatever you go for. I guarantee it. I guarantee I'm going to be I'm going to be able to eat whatever this thing goes for. Just because it's Appleton, dude. Your impulse to cut that stat in half. You go for a struggle bug. Okay. Not amazing for me, but fine, I guess. Oh, wait, hold up. That did more than I... Okay, I guess I just never read up on my Calyrex calcs. <laughs> Dang you, Calyrex. Ah, man, okay. I really expected to live that. Let me just go for the Glacial Lance. And uh, I suppose I just try attack Volk. Glacial Lance should KO this thing from this range. If he lets me get a KO on this Aleki, it might be over. Ah, he's Sash. Okay. Okay. No, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I am definitely in trouble here. Uh, I would assume he would fake out the... I'm assuming he would fake out the P2 here. It goes Volk. Okay. So if he's going to fake out the P2, what's my play? I suppose I always just try to trick him. And protect. Even though he's probably going to, you know, fake out. I still have to try it. As he doesn't fake out, he probably has taunt. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Hmm. Is there a way out of here? I'm just going to try to trick room on this guy. As he doubles. Okay. GG. Let's get one more. Unfortunately, I, I had a little bit too much faith in Appleton there. Thick fat at minus two. I wasn't able to take it anyways. And again, I just, I honestly just completely forgot. Kyurem is literally like one of the strongest special attackers in the game. As we're facing, uh, okay, an Evoltal Lapras team. Hmm. Is this going to be an Appleton game? Probably not, but I'll bring him anyways. I see very little reason not to try to get up screens and lead off P2. Yeah, I'll go screens P2. Uh, and Sin looks really nice, but I'm not going to bring him because this is an Appleton video. This is an Appleton video. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. 
yeah, it's going to be pretty easy to get off Trick Room. So I'll just go for it. They would have to go for a Nuzzle or something. Uh, light Screen is my best play here. If he fakes out the Grim Snarl, it's whatever, you know? If he Volt Switches on his <laughs> on his Lapras to activate Weakness Policy, I've been nanid. As he lets me get off the Trick Room, interestingly enough. And the Max Geyser fails to KO. Okay. Um, I think I want to get rid of Raichu before anything, to be honest. Raichu's really annoying. I kind of want to get up my screens. But if I get rid of Raichu, I can just press Eerie Impulse and be fine. So I'll just assume it's Focus Sash to try to KO here. If he switches out, it's whatever. Because I can't click Eerie Impulse if uh, Raichu's in the field. Okay, I believe this KOs. Nice. And now I can Eerie Impulse this thing to my heart's content, and I even get screens off, which is nice since they targeted into P2 instead. What'd they bring in the back? I'm assuming that if they brought Incineroar, I'd probably come in here for a fake out. Yeah. Okay. Um, I could just Eerie Impulse here and try to get off screens. I don't mind if I don't get screens. As long as the Eerie Impulse works, I'm good. Oh, I get both of these off. What? This goes for a Lariat into the P2. Interesting. Interesting play by my opponent there. I don't know if I agree with it, like, at all. But, yeah, they just forfeit. Okay. Well, that was an interesting last match. Um... Despite the crit on that one game and the and the loss to legitimate loss by the way, I'm not gonna complain about that, to the Kyurem team, I like this team quite a bit. I think this is a fun little team. Appleton's able to put in work uh, and eat some hits that you wouldn't expect it to, except not Kyurem, not Kyurem, because that thing's absurd. <laughs> I mean look at Kyurem's special attack set. I don't know what I was on. I don't know what I was on when I thought I could have a Kyurem white max hailstorm. Look at it. <laughs> 170. Insane. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, answer my comment question of the day, and above all else, leave a like and subscribe. It really supports me, and I honestly, I really support, I really appreciate the support you've been giving me lately. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.